This video will explain the Customer Portal. A great new addition and added value to the Tailwind software. The Customer Portal allows your customers to view the status of their orders, exchange information electronically with the dispatcher, view and print proofs of deliveries, request a quote, and view their account history. And it will enable you to provide accurate information and great customer service. In this video, I will show you what the portal looks like, go over some of the features, and explain how to grant access to your customers. Let's first talk about setting up our customers. In order to allow your customers access to their loads via the customer portal, you will need to assign a login and password to a specific contact in their customer record. To do so, navigate to the customer list using the left navigation bar, open the customer in question, and navigate to the contacts tab. You can edit any contact you may want to edit simply by using the edit button and populating a portal username or password. This is the unique username and password you want to assign to this contact. This keeps the data safe from all other eyes. This person will only be able to view orders or information related to their customer record, the building supply company in this situation. Let's head back there. I'm going to open up one of my contact records that I've already created a username and password for. So here in my contact list, using this contact, I've set Linda up with a username of Linda and Linda1. Of course, you'll want to try and make it as unique as you can so that everything remains nice and confidential. After you have created the username and portal password, you will email the portal credentials to your customer. So this is a great time to ensure that your contact records have the correct email address in them. And this is what the email is going to look like to your customer. It will come from you. It will show the link for them to access the portal. Give them their username and password, of course, and this will be an article. It's a learning document explaining to your customer how to use the portal. Now that we've set up our customers and contacts with all those usernames and passwords, we've emailed the credentials off to those customers we need to. Let's have a look at a sample portal. This is what your customer is going to see. It's the way to enter into their order information on your portal. So they simply type their username and the specific password that you have assigned, and they will sign in. And when they do, only their information will be listed here. Across the top, it will show the number of live quotes they have outstanding, the number of orders that are on the go, their outstanding balance, and any remaining available credit to them. The view will automatically default to the shipments list, although you have four menu items on the left vertical menu, the ability for your customers to see their quotes, their shipments, their balance details, and their transaction history. Let's visit the shipments details first, since it's the default landing where your customer comes in. It will list the orders here in a list, they're color-coded, so your customer can easily see the stage that the order might be moving in. So this one, for example, is unassigned. It's not moving yet. These ones are in transit. So the customer can always see it. They can open the load up and view the details as to moving some building supplies and where it's picking up and where it's delivering to. They can also view the revenue that you happen to be charging them for the movement, and they have the ability to put notes in here if they want to. They can ask, where is it? This note will show up in your database for you, giving you the ability to put a note back to the customer. Back to the shipment list. So while they're able to see all of their statuses, they also have the ability to open each individual order. 
they can also create a new order for you. That's going to save you lots of data entry time if your customers start entering their own order details. When they use that button, it will populate up the information that they need to enter in order to create the order. They'll put in their reference number and then they will simply add in shipments and they can also put in specific notes that will be tied to this order. Now let's visit the other areas here. Quotes are just the ability for your customer to see what open quotes they might have. And they can also request a quote. The balance details will show their outstanding invoices and how many days they're aging out at. And the transaction history will simply list every invoice or order that this customer has given you and will also show payment details as well when those are received into the database. So that's a sample portal of what your customers can view, the ability for them to see information without calling you all the, through the day asking where their orders might be. That's our customer portal. Thank you.